And Second Life is massively popular, but I honestly don't see the appeal. Porn. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Beautiful people, I'm Vince Stone here at LGC Actual in beautiful downtown Georgia. A lot of beautifuls going around by our beautiful, beautiful co host up in Canadian land. Look at him, he's adorable. That is one Jordan Sfung, and the beautiful as well. Uh, debatable. I, listen, man, I'm trying to choke it out. Shut up, you know. Elvin. <laughs> then, I, no, I, 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 at, at this point, the word "beautiful" has lost all meaning. So we we're, we're, we're using it like literally, where we mean not that. It, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so beautiful. Join us live. <laughs> Shot realm dynamic helping us form cocaine Voltron. Before we get started, we like seeing what's going on in each other's life organs. I've been playing around with Adore, getting that compiled, thinking about filing bug reports. But hey, it's kind of stable. It's kind of working. There's a new version of Adore out. If you're curious. Just go play with it using that to record the shows and all the other fun stuff outside of that i got my space internet invite and i'm having a genuine debate of do i really want to spend 500 bucks to play with something yes oh i do i do but <laughs> are, it's, it's not if you want it's are you going to it's the accounting department walking in fucking with me man it's like Hey, you could do other I'm like, but I could like play with it occasionally and ping and post my screenshots. <laughs> I could theoretically stream for another fifteen minutes after the power goes out because I have space internet. Forty three. Forty three. I did a breaker test in here. Um, this week. Forty three minutes. Forty three minute. Now that's not, that's pretty good. No load. No load though. No, okay, okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> but keep in mind. I mean, we got rack UPSs, big chunky UPSs, and because I was surprised, then I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? If I rendered a video, I bet that'd go down to like ten. <laughs> yeah, that's it's always curious. Like, I I have a UPS. How good is it actually for? I I tend to assume less than five minutes, but. It's, uh, well, I was, cause I'm thinking about, I really want to have our own Jitsi box and I really want it not to be, I want everything in this room and I don't want to have to run fiber to some other place in the house. I'm like, here, you just do that. So I want to sneak something in here, but like the really small ones are stupid expensive. I'm like other ones. So yeah, I, I was upstairs like flipping breakers, listening. Like, God, 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 can we get away with it? I think we can get away with it. We'll find out. Maybe there'll be a fire. <laughs> just, just don't dry your hair when, when you're recording a podcast. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the blow dryers out of this room. <laughs> Twelve hundred watts. Mm. What's new with you, Jordan? I know you got a clock ticking down. I do. It's a little, little over a month and a half left until I move to my new house. I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. I want it to be over with. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, this week's been pretty low key though. I had a deployment week at work, so most of my time and effort was spent doing that. Uh, Pokemon stream continues. More, more, more deaths. More, 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 more pointless deaths. Morty's ghastly killed my DV, and now I'm sad. Um, yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> How about you, Pedro? <laughs> yeah, over here, well, I did mention on, um, on Wednesday that I'd gotten what I thought was, um, a red switch mechanical keyboard on the cheap. You did. That, you did. You showed it off and you're like, I hey, did. look, it's got red switches on it. <laughs> it's, uh, in the box now. Jordan, but, tell, uh, me, tell me whether or not you can respect this, Jordan. Um, it's a bit too clicky. Bit too loud, right? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Pedro's like, I don't know. And like, different color switches make different colors, or I don't know. That's how color works. And I asked Pedro, and it's like, well, are the are the switches like when you pull them off, when you look at them, are they at least painted red? Because it said it was red switches. Yes, they were. I kind of respect they are. that. <laughs> I, I, they, I mean, uh, put the, the blue actuation with the red plunger. <laughs> but I thought, I thought the whole the whole is is this like off cherry MX brand or something like that? It's like these, these yeah, Gary it's, uh, Chinese, yeah, yeah Chinese Gary MX. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gary MX. Well, see, there, there you go, right? Like that, that's your mistake number one. 
Um, but yeah, but it was, you know, relatively cheap, like 20, uh, 25 99 was the actual price that I paid for it. And now it's back in the box and it's going to get returned because Amazon was like, oh, we're really sorry. Could you like send that back? Yeah, I, bu- I can. I, bu- <laughs> I bought a cherry red keyboard just because like my, the, the old Cooler Master one finally kicked the bucket for whatever reason. I think like the the little USB, like the mini USB port on there died. Yeah. Uh, so, so I ended up buying just like the cheapest Logitech mechanical keyboard I could, and it ended up being a cherry red. And yeah, it is it is kind of loud. I'm, I I I definitely prefer the brown keys. The one I got for Nori though is great. It's one of those half mechanical ones because there's a mechanical half plunger. Mechanical, it's like, biomechanical. Yes, no, no, no. See, <laughs> it's want, part flesh, part keyboard. I genuinely want to believe. I want to believe that only some of the switches are mechanical. N- n- no, the the switch itself is half mechanical. There's a mechanical pl- plunger, but it actuates a membrane, so they're much quieter. My and idea I'm, is way better. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for like the keyboard to like shoot like tentacles up and like inject nano machines into Nori, and then <laughs> and and then you have like a little Borg outbreak because it's it's only it's only partly mechanical, yeah, right? A little bit. Uh, uh, Mir, I'm gonna call you out on that one and say that Mars Gaming calls it HMEC. So, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> Can we wind the horse up this week, though? No, the horse doesn't have enough banana machines. We gotta banana machines. Banana machines, <laughs> man. Do 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 do. It's the Steam Linux update. Mechanic, damn it! I can't even do it. My brain rejects this. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good time. So we get a little bit of an update, and uh, well, we get an update to the update, but this one's just network sockets updates. The interesting one came from February the twenty fourth, and that was uh, updates to remote play. Remote play together because you no longer need the game or. A Steam account, really, if you want to invite a friend for remote play. I think that's kind of interesting. Valve says, hey, now remote play together. No Steam accounts needed. Join your games. Click a link. Simply launch thousands of games and all that. Windows, iOS, whatever. For more information, da 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 on Steam input, they fixed something with the Windows version of Slay the Spire. Yay, Linux. Do we get something? There was a regression. We were, oh, some links, Proton, install. All right. Where's my browser? This is this is the yeah. life I wanted to live. And when I first read that, I'm like, okay, can I just like, send Jordan a URL and he clicks on it? And like, hey, I can play, you know, like a la Steam. What was the one Google still has technically? S- St- Studio Shamamana. <laughs> Shamama. <laughs> I, yeah, it is a it, very interesting feature. Yes, it needs to be something like a link that you can send uh, to a browser, like Stadia promised that uh, people would have. Yeah, we're right, we're, right, that, right, right now, know. right. So right now, you, you, right now, for the Steam Remote Play without an account, you do actually need to install something. It's like the the VNC client, whatever it is, the Remote Play thing. It's available. It's not available on Linux though. If you're on Linux, you better fucking register for a Steam account, son. Otherwise, you're not playing any games. Uh, but, but yeah, like, well, I'm kind of curious. It's like, what do developers think about this? Because previously, you had to have the at least have the game to do it. No, no, not 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 with uh, not with remote play. Um, only one person needed to have oh, the game. Okay, I was mistaken about that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as as long as the person hosting has the game, then it's fine. And like, f- from a practical perspective, it's the same thing as like me having a multiplayer game and you coming to my house and like sitting on my couch, right? But that was some, the some, whole sales pitch, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I mean, I mean, it, it's good for people who don't necessarily have Steam accounts, or um, maybe maybe you don't necessarily have a computer that you want to like set up and install Steam on, but you just want to like set up a dumb terminal for someone. I, it's it's a good feature to have, but I'm with Ven. I wish this was more browser based. Because, like, GeForce Now has it, Luna has it, um, the Studi, Stu, Studebaker, the, the Google one has it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, that's what I want. Do you think we'll eventually get there, though? I hope so. Yeah, yeah it, that, that, that should absolutely be a thing, if for nothing else than just to rub it in Google's face. It's like, see, the, the, everyone the, else got there before you. Well, <laughs> well no, that was the thing. Like, Stadia was kind of squandered, too, because it's perfect for, like, multiple people connecting to, for, for like, <laughs> multiplayer games like this. This is, like, what that platform is built for, but they yeah. fucked it up. So, well, yeah. 
top of the charts. <laughs> we get to do this each and every Yee. month. What games sold the most in its popularity contest? And that will tell you which ones are the best. Correct? Uh, Sounds eh, about right. Well, the most uh, purchased anyway. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, the best. A lot of mm -hmm. them you could probably have guessed uh, if you were paying attention to the new releases. But yeah, as usual, Steam, as they do, they put out the uh, little developer roundup to say which ones sold the most and this time the, instead of giving like a list on the very same post that they say look it's the new thing no they uh separated the news bit into it's like oh yeah new uh chinese um chinese new year it's the year of the ox apparently unprecedented early access ox is gonna give it to you naughty early access has been uh very very popular because everyone keeps releasing games in early access so if you don't buy into that you don't get to play the newest games i can see the correlation but the yeah the actual list itself is on another page and the two uh linux entries that i found were skull which we did throw chairs at and uh, scp escape together and as far as scp goes i can say that reading the wiki is the best part of scp other than that eh, i mean i can do that the, the scp one is free to play though so Mm. Yes. It, 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 and, it, and it is a, it is a co-op game so that's pretty neat it does it has network multiplayer which is kind of the big thing like i don't mm -hmm. give a shit now can i connect to someone on the internet and play right. the game um i'm a little i'm a little sad there's no porn games this time whatever happened to jack off january china <laughs> oh, yeah. i don't know do you consider uh atelier reza to um <laughs> fit into that I, category <laughs> i don't even know what you just said right now so <laughs> <laughs> the Atelier series is um, very, very popular. Dates I, back I to heard, the PlayStation I, Two days. No, 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 no. Like, no. <laughs> I, like, I, I just heard a string of vowels come out of your mouth. I did not understand the word that you just said. Atelier. <laughs> okay. okay, you heard that, Pedro. No more vowels this evening. No more vowels. Consonants only. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh. oh man so uh we were talking uh, about this last week and probably the week no just definitely last week uh epic and apple getting a slap fight it was adorable then you know we're sitting back eating popcorn and apple's like you know what hey to endear everyone to us in the gaming community let's subpoena valve yeah. Why? Because well, why not? Let's there, try. Because there, 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 <laughs> there seems to be a nasty. There, there seems to be like a nasty thing where like every every time Valve has a court case and we talk about it and we're like, yeah, Valve will probably would not have to do that. A week later, a judge is like, no, the opposite. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, Apple had requested um, the financial data regarding uh, the number of games on Steam, sales data, et cetera, et cetera. They're trying to make a case against uh, Epic to say like, no, we're 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 not monopoly. We're not a monopoly. You can't break us up. Blah 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 blah. Um, and you know, the, the judge said, and uh, Valve was saying, no, we're a private company. The state is our competitive edge. Um, it would be very costly and time consuming to produce it in like a format that is useful for the specific tasks that you have, um, blah, blah, blah. And the judge said, you know, that, that may be the case, but like being a private company doesn't really exempt you from discovery, which is a very nice burn. I do like that. Um, I'm definitely down with that, Ben. Apple's legal counsel, you know, they're going to get to see the data, not Apple itself. Mm hmm. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's, that's never how it works. Dude. Well, you know, they say that the, data is going to be under protection by a judge which mostly assures that yeah apple's going to see that data yeah it's like oh hey judge can you just point your iphone at the thing thank you and uh no i i kind of want to see valve just casually drop steam from anything mac os and ios it's not gonna happen but i I, Part of I can, me really wants to see I, that. I, 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 I can see uh, Valve taking like a flibit style approach where they they want to support their existing customers, but it's like Apple has shown that like they are actively hostile to us, so we're mm -hmm. just not gonna like give them new stuff. Uh, they've already shown that by uh, you know forcing Valve to have their client in the app store. Bit, and, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but they've done that so, move. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I, I I don't think Valve wants to go out and try to like look. They're retaliating. All I'm saying, if there's a big F here, there were any plans to have a native client on the new architecture on the M1, that shit's gone. Like no smoke. 
Yeah. But hey, you know what? <laughs> Valve doesn't care because they didn't get a cut in the first place. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> and like wh- whether whether or not this data will actually have any bearing on the court case again we were kind of skeptical last week about it because there's some pretty clear platform differences between what apple is providing and what valve is providing the more i think Epic about it you know about. like binaries data isn't it yep all right it's true, oh, and, and like I, I, I'm, they, they, they covered their buns, their buns with their statement last week. They're gonna take their sweet ass time to produce that report, and I think they're gonna, they're, they're gonna hope that like maybe, maybe the case moves forward without that data, so that that maybe well, I, although, it'll I get can, forgotten. I, I want to envision this like Perry Mason thing with the judge, you know, he's already said they want well, salt. Yeah. Uh, let me finish this, mm-hmm. and they're doing that, and Apple's like, you're out of, you know, they're going back like whatever. I'm like your honor, uh, we we this is month sixteen. We're waiting for Valve to provide the financials and numbers, and the judge is like, "Are you not familiar with Valve time?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the, the 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 report comes in three parts, so you know we're we're we're, oh, wait, we're waiting on right. we're waiting on that last one. It's it's a long. But I'm job. actually kind of curious uh, to see if the data gets mysteriously leaked, uh, because. The judge agreed that they don't have to provide the data for the full 30,000 long games list that are currently on Steam. Just the 400 and whatever that Steam and the Epic Store have in common. I want to see that. I want to rub some numbers in some people's faces, please. Mm. I mean, it, it, I mean, Epic doesn't <laughs> care, right? Like they, they they were literally paying people to take games from their store. I don't I don't yes. think that, at that point if you're if if they're going to be as overt as that, it's like, yeah, we're not selling anything. Yeah, we still made a profit. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have some good news. A uh, couple of game updates this week. We're going to start off with Vulcan. Uh, it's Hollow Knight one five fifty eight eleven seven six two. Come on, guys. Uh, <laughs> not Vita. quite an Acer monitor it's model number. Not quite, man. Acer <laughs> coming and slap you for insulting it with such a short. Yeah, why can't you be normal? Uh, <laughs> that's so real. That's so real. It's true. A couple of things in this: they've added borderless options to full screen video. Uh, 64-bit now required for Windows. Get racked, Windows users. But hey, use it. Vulkan is now the default graphics API for Linux. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you you played a little bit of that yesterday, didn't you? Yes, I'm so excited. I'm getting choked up. <laughs> Still can't breathe saliva, I see. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why you need to evolve gills, man. Here's what I learned, man. <laughs> Open Gel's always been very performant with Hollow Knight, despite being Unity title. Mm-hmm. And never had a problem with it. This I tried. Get it up and running. Now, I've been having an issue on um, Threadpooper with Vulcan, Unity Vulcan titles. Every, all the other Vulcan, fine. Not a problem. But I ran into this with Scone. And I go to launch it, and it's like the animation, like the intro screen would probably take about a minute and a half to get done, fading in. What's going on here? Finally tracked it down. So here's a friendly pro tip from Old Man Ben. If you're going to be playing that game, make sure you have a compositor enabled. Because mm. if you don't, Ta-da, that I'm, this is going to mess you up. And as soon as I click compositor, everything ran fine. It was a very, very playable, um, about 400 FERPs at 1080p with a 2060, mm. occasional dips into 399s. I know. No, I I'm, know. I'm literally unplayable. <laughs> it, yes, it is. Admittedly, that is <laughs> unacceptable, but it is still a beta. It's not been up to production. I think we can assume, hopefully, a solid 400 at 1080p. Uh, Mm-hmm. I mean, 400 is still 100 better than your average source engine game. So, <laughs> I mean, not not anymore. You just got to take the frame cap off. Right. I, uh, yeah, that's uh, on by default. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it works. Go play with it. You can do it. Just right click, go to properties and um, go check it out. Yeah. Man. It's, it's, cool. it's always cool to see like 2D Vulcan. People, people are always talking about it. Vulcan is like, oh, yeah, it's for 3D. But, you know, it can do 2D very well as well. Talking about it, we were we used to make jokes about it, and now it's a thing. So yeah, now it's yeah, just but, like oh, oh, why not? <laughs> well, I'll tell you why though. This is an important thing to realize. Uh, this is like locking your game in, not future proofing it, but at least this is you know Vulcan's going to be what it is going forward, not open jail, and mm-hmm. we want to support it. And I think Unity's definitely made it easier for, for sure. Yeah. 
getting your there's uh there, there's uh there's another game we're going to talk about that is also maybe th- some doors were open for them because of vulcan and that's, i think that's gonna be the next segment though yeah so yes. of light. we talked about this uh, yeah, this one uh, has us going back all the way to episode whatever it was when we threw chairs at Primal Light. And we were really excited because, ooh, metroidvania type platformer done in Godot. Yes, please. And it turned out not to be very good. Uh, we had a few complaints uh, uh, about it. And I was reading through the full change log as they uh, have on their update. And yes, uh, misspelling of anonymous is the least of their concerns. The first one's like, oh, new environment less. It's cool. Number two, new game plus functionality. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Uh, number three is more to do with the new game plus as well as four and five. And then six. Video options, okay. display resolution, V-Sync, screen shake, and screen flash. Now save between sessions. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Why wasn't that there from uh-huh. the start? Because that's one of the things we brought up. It's like, it doesn't save the settings. It just keeps resetting the whole thing. I mean, at least they <laughs> fixed it, question mark? I don't know. <laughs> Several months later. <laughs> It's be- better than never. Could, it, could, it could be like Dragon the Game, right? Or like any of the other games that are just like, yeah, it's, well, we just didn't implement it. Whatever, we're done with it. Be gr- be grateful it boots up when you start it, right? Outside. In- I mean, we can think about the game. Like Primalite, it's competently done, old school retro platform, and it's done with a Godot. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, go play around with it. Indeed. All right. Dagger time. Devil Daggers, Ooh. welcome back to the game that every time I look at it, I still have no idea what the fuck is going on, uh, but they have, they're having their uh, five-year anniversary. Um, they have a new update out, um, and it has some uh, performance pr- 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 improvements, perfect. performance pr- improvements, pr- apparently in some places up to five times. They've also, because this is a time attack game, a lot of what they've added are for like replays. So if you're going to, if you want to like show off how cool and badass you are in this game, they have a bunch of uh, things for uh, reducing replay size, removing UI elements, uh, showing counters, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Again, look, looking at this footage, I have no idea what the fuck is happening. There's like red shit and like <laughs> triangles. You're shooting the red shit and you need to shoot at the triangles or collect the triangles as the case may be. I, it's, I, yeah. I, <laughs> it's, I still don't know. Uh, it's I don't think I've ever survived for more than a minute in that game yet. I think my high score was like 32 seconds because shit goes off the rails real fucking quick. It, it's seriously the difficulty you get 10 seconds in and you go, oh, OK, I think I got it. And then you turn around and there's like three enemies already shooting stuff. I just like, oh, fuck. Okay. Dude, this thing is so old school, like get wrecked out of the gate simulator. Twitter. Pretty much. I, I never tangled with it back in the day when it was released, but it ended up being in a bundle and I made it about as far of my total playtime as to be correct as how long Pedro lasted in the game period was. I installed mm-hmm. it, got wrecked. I'm like, I get it. But nah. <laughs> but hey, yeah. for right, right right now it's about two fifty. So if you uh, if you're curious, if you want to see red and only red and maybe some black yeah. and mostly red, <laughs> then you know two fifty is not bad. Gentlemen, should we sing some sea shanties? I am a hundred percent unironically down to, to sing sea shanties. I know you're fucking bullshitting me, but. <laughs> I, I'm, yo, I'm, yo, hey, but D. Listen, <laughs> it's no name, so never, no name, never, no more. <laughs> I've been the Wild Rover. Okay, so uh, this was this was uh, submitted to us uh, from FX Boy Forever. You can do that if you're a Patreon or if you're in our Discord or if you just want to add us some stuff. Uh, you can send us or on Twitter. <laughs> yes, or, or on Twitter. Um, what lies below? Uh, there's a link to the itch page, but it's uh, they also have a wish list page on Steam as well. The demo is available on itch. What is it? It's Moby dicking around. I mean, like it it's a it's a boss rush where you're on a boat and you got a harpoon and you gotta like kill fish. I get a bit of a nautical shadow of the Colossus vibe for it uh from it, and it it looks like an interesting concept. Uh, I downloaded the demo. It certainly runs. I haven't <laughs> had time to like actually spend time and play play the game. Um it does. It does use Vulcan though. Uh, if you look down at the system mm-hmm. requirements, it, uh, it has OpenGL uh, ES three point two and Vulcan. So that's kind of neat. 
I didn't go as far as to download the demo, but I watched the developer play the game on the uh, gameplay trailer. Sexy. And it, it was just the first, like the first uh, kaiju thing that you, that one that you need to uh, throw your harpoon at. And it's like 12 minutes of just throw the harpoon, steer the boat, fix the boat because it's getting a bit damaged. Throw the harpoon, throw the harp. That, 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 that sounds like it could be a bit of a faff. I don't. I don't know because that's basically the loop for Shadow of the Colossus, and but people Shadow love of the, the Colossus sort of interspersed the thing with you have to stab certain specific points, and you have to make your way in this massive monster. Uh, you have to make your way to try here and stab. Go, a different here we go. Spot. Here we go. Here we go. Pedro, tell me if this make it all better. What if What if the boat had target lock? So you could run in circles and pretend it was Dark Souls. Would you like it better? <laughs> what, what, what if the boat, it, it the already boat can has, dodge roll? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. If, if we add dodge roll to the boat, will you, will you, will you shut the fuck up and just accept it? It already has cruise control because if you leave the boat, it just keeps going. And you just have to steer it if you're headed towards a rock or you have to fix it if you've taken a lot of damage. But yeah, no, it, 12 it, minutes to kill even the first one. It's like, oh my God. No, I mean, extremely early days for this. And, you know, currently mm. you know, what's in place right now is, yes, effectively floating simulator with optional boss rushes. But hey, again, it's to be announced. Can uh, outside of just the fuck around demo. I mm. want to see some asymmetrical multiplayer in this mm. because that could get interesting with a bunch of boats, one big monster. And I, 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 I want to be the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can I can definitely see some like ATST vibes happening if you That's throw in some multiplayer. If you but, guys are fucking around in your little dinghies and all that shit, you know I'm the yeah. motherfucker that spent six hundred bucks on the Love Boat DLC, and I just come cruising up in that bitch. The love, <laughs> boat. <laughs> but yeah, but like Ben was saying, it is an early development. Uh, they're planning on adding more stuff, more bosses, more detailed combat. Uh, so if you want if you want to follow the project, yeah. you can. It's on Itch. It's on Steam. Uh, the links to all that stuff is in our show notes, so you should definitely check that out but we're done steam news right now we got regular news so let's speculate on some amd cards that are going to be completely unavailable because scalpers have bought them all despite the fact that they're not even out or announced yet it's there to go fuck yourself and i think it's about time we took a bit of a break uh from the news because well, what's coming down the pipe? Nappies. Uh, no one's really looking forward to that. Uh, but yes, nappies. Uh, lots and lots of nappies. Uh, Jordan already soiled his. So <laughs> I think I'm going to give him a chance to uh, talk now. It's raining nappies. <laughs> <laughs> Man, man, that, that that word has another meaning, and we're 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 gonna get in trouble for it. Anyways, um, y'all should head over to patreoncom slash Um, it's 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 a cool place. You can give us money in exchange for fun stuff, like access to our Discord channel where we hang out for the rest of the week, uh, dicking around. You can also uh tune into the pre pre super shows, and you know that extra hour long podcast we do eight thirty, uh. Oh, until 8.30, from 7.30, I want to say. Um, and yeah, uh, you, you get other stuff. You can access to the show notes. You can show up on Thursday or Friday streams. Not Tuesday streams. Pedro is all alone. He doesn't let other people show up on his streams and talk. Uh, That's yeah. wildly inaccurate. <laughs> is it, is it? I had multiple people on at least three times. Uh, the, <laughs> there's been the multiple... Singular occasion. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I cannot remember that, but I, I'm not the keeper of Pedro's th- streams. That's Mini Pedro's job. I don't know. If you want, if you want to give Mini Pedro food, go sub to our Patreon. <laughs> he's starving right now. He's so, that's why he's so small. He's malnourished. Check this out, beautiful people. Also, if uh, you want to take some money out of Big Papa Bezos's wallet, man, you get a free Twitch sub. If you get the Twitch Prime, you can throw that in our direction. That'll also unlock special Discord powers. You can come hang out yeah. with us like that. And um, like things move in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It's terrifying. Pedro eats a banana. All of that is true, believe it or not. But. If you want to put some LGC all over um, your OPP, uh, no, you can get things like <laughs> stickers and merch and T-shirts and all kind of fun things over at store.linuxgamecast.com. It's brilliant. But again, thank you to everyone making this possible over at patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. You're going to have your names in the credits, Jordan. We've been, <gasps> we will publicly shame you. Also, we got like, wish if you wanted up on this wall, you end up in like random ass videos. You pick up something for the studio. We're going to read things because then shit like this shows up and we're going to read it. 
with a gift. And that applies to these two yahoos and these two psychopaths. They got little oh. more stones with like little things and they fuck Big up. Thank and you, Darkwing, once they again. fuck up and put controllers on it that I don't find when I <laughs> just look at it and I'm like, hey, that's an ugly one. Hey, Pedro, buy this one. LOL. If, if so, I'm, I'm going to throw that out, throw this out there. If you really want to troll me, buy me some heavy shit. Wait, I have to move. you're about to move. I, I, yeah, I have to move. So, <laughs> no, thanks everyone. Uh, <laughs> that is awesome. But check this out. We got good news. That no, not really. We got to talk about the no. uh, big navvies. First of all, we get to spin the uh, long, long forgotten wheel of Booga Booga because, uh, well, AMD will announce its next uh, RX 6000 series GPU on March the third. That that that's it. That that is uh, the concrete news that we have up to this point. Uh, speculation seems to say that they're going to be talking about the sixty seven hundred XT, but they're not going to be releasing the non XT version because reasons. It's speculation. You do whatever, uh, and you don't have to worry about it because it'll be out of stock shortly after release or before release if the retailers keep breaking embargo like they have been doing for the past six months. Gotta go fast. Yeah, they, they get paid anyways. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, um, as we were even talking, you know, in the middle points um, during the intermission, it doesn't matter. And then we've said it before, like, you can say, oh, this RX 6000, non-6000 new card, it, you get better gas mileage or, you know, it cures scabies. We can't tell. You can't get them. These are just like, they don't exist. Like the NVIDIA stuff. I can't. Effectively, yeah. Yeah, I genuinely yeah. can't be asked at this point. I saw, um, <laughs> what was it, earlier this week when the 3060 reviews launched and they all launched at the same time, you know, from the different channels you saw, I was like, I don't fucking care. I mean, it was a couple of days later and I finally watched it and I just watched it for entertainment value. I wasn't sizing it up because, hell, there'll probably be a new version of the 3060 Super that I won't be able to buy by the time I get around, like, the 3060s are available. I don't fucking care at this point. It doesn't matter. It's just made up shit, even though they technically exist. No yeah. worry, you can buy a 1050 Ti. It's okay. I, In a perfect I, I, world, Pedro Mateus, I would be able to get a 2080 Super <laughs> for a reasonable, like, and I mean reasonable. I, I genuinely thought to myself, okay, somebody's going to be dumping a 2080 Super for, or a 2080 Ti for like 400 bucks. Uh-uh. Now, 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 the, now they're holding on to that shit like black gold, yeah. <laughs> and and I mean, like, I, I I was talking about this in the pre-pre super shows, and there's a like there 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 are a lot of things that are like contributing to the shortage already. A lot of it is like, oh, every year there's a new video card out that people are rushing to buy. I don't know. I think no, I I don't think there are too many people in a rush because their video cards are completely unusable. There's definitely a few of those out there, but um, yeah, I don't know. Mm. You you, but uh, yeah. I don't know. At least you have driver support for the 3060 when you get your hands on it. This yeah. is true, man. <laughs> Say what you want about NVIDIA, man. They were all good with this. They were good with this with my 2060. Like, I had the drivers ready when the card showed up and I ordered day one Founders Edition. Remember those times, kids? When when mm -hmm. you could order a card and it shows when, up in the yeah, mail? Yeah, that morning. <laughs> and, you know, there, there's no rush. There's no, like, programming a bot or entering a lottery. Like, oh, cool. I want to buy that. So, yes. Uh, not much in this latest driver update. This is 460.56. They've added support for the 3060. They fixed uh, some payloads in Vulcan. That sounds kind of hot. Um, something with a VK create device with a Steam runtime? All right. That's a thing. And some regressions that could cause display corruption when using skilled resolution after resuming power. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't trust that. I, I come from the <laughs> sleep dark ages. mode. Always, always freaking sleep mode. <laughs> well, it, it's 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 not just that too, because that also counts when people are playing on laptops and they like shut the laptop and it goes into like screen off mode as well. That's mm -hmm. also that's also a suspend state. I don't. So nope. No suspend. No. No. No, no hibernate. <laughs> oh, there, there is only off. Disable S1, S2, and S3. All of them. <laughs> so, at, you know what? At least on Intel, the the uh, with the 6700K, Spender Zoom works pretty well. I've been using that, uh, and I haven't been having too much of a problem with it. You know, uh, shortly after uh, I had SSDs and everything, I mean, seriously, they're, they're like the... If I, if I was using a laptop on desktops, no. It is ingrained habit. 
even when I light everything in here, even though I can cut this thread boober on, and it takes the longest because it does all that bullshit self-check stuff. Mm -hmm. I can't get to the door before I'm sitting at the screen from a cold boon. Oh, yeah. For, I, for, for me, it's just like, I don't want to have to go and reload all my SSH keys and blah, blah, blah. It's a pain in the butt. Mm. Uh, but that, that, that's, that's my use case, at least. I don't, I don't know. Um, they are fi- a lot of these fixes in this driver are for like ray tracing on NVIDIA. Like even, even the Steam runtime fix was just for Ampere GPUs, like shit with ray tracing enabled. And I'm pretty sure the only feedback they're getting on Linux, at least, is Quake 2 RTX. But the, at least they're determined <laughs> to fix those bugs, I guess. I mean, that was their thing. They did that. Too. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. They, they, they might as well be maintaining. They're, they're the ones stuck maintaining that shit now. Yeah. Ray tracing is the future, you guys. Oh, God. Now we have all this technical debt. Well, we'll definitely get to see more and more because, you know, that was done with their own NVIDIA proprietary you know, yeah. Vulcan and V, whatever. And now they yeah, the extension. Yeah. That. that doesn't work worth a damn, but it's there. So. <laughs> it will uh, improve, hopefully. Something we've been waiting for for a long time. And this is just, even, even the people that were backed it, I think they've officially just given up. They're not even white knighting the product anymore. <laughs> and that's the smash is that. Well, this isn't that. Yeah, is. This. Uh, well, yeah, fair uh, enough. This it, might actually get made. Yes, th- this may very well see the light of day because, well, that looks like an actual picture that was just cropped in, a, in order to be presented on the website. This is the Aya device space. It is uh, the, what do they call it? The Aya Neo? Yes. And it's got a space bin with a big gun, Pedro. I'm sold. It, Listen, it does. Spe- I mean, recoil Neo, is going to be a bitch, but... I just I just looked at this website, and I got transported into the Matrix. All this green and black. Basically, yeah. Uh, so, what? the first thing that jumped out at me was, uh, instead of going with the Ryzen embed like the Smack Z reportedly uh, is going to be coming out with, this is using the actual... Um, mobile APU, the 4500U, the R5 4500U, which is, well, the performance is leagues above the Ryzen embed, and with the uh, 8 or 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, I I remember my old Game Boy Color looking like that. (laughs) And the uh, entry price is um, $699 or uh, $700 if you get in early. It comes with Windows 10, but something tells me, uh, well, that won't last I, long. Yeah. I, I mean, like, so I, I, own, I own the 2700U. I, I 100% mm-hmm. understand why they went with the mid-series, the 4500U, because those boys run really, really hot, and the, the mid-range ones have fewer thermal throttling issues. Um, but, yeah, like... I don't, I don't know. It's for, like, I, I have one of these things. The video card is all right, but, like, you still have to play Rocket League on low. It's not like this is a graphical jug- juggernaut when they say play desktop class games with desktop class performance. It is just on low at 720p. At 720p, yeah. <laughs> if, 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 you, if you want more than 45 seconds of battery, at least. 7-inch IPS touchscreen, 47-watt battery, um, that... 4516 gigasoles RAM, ergonomic joystick, uh, Windows 10 OS. Meh. Also coming to Indiegogo eventually, which <laughs> means that we could make a web zone and actually get on it because you don't need a functioning prototype. But having cracked living room PC gaming, finally. <laughs> there are no problems whatsoever with even nope. buying anything Solved. or you acquiring. Can, yeah. you, can, you can go to the living room <laughs> PC gaming store, buy one, install it, and you can play current titles, no yep. issue, controllers, everything just works out of the box these days. It's brilliant. Once we get that solved, since we clearly do, we're going to go to mobile. We're, we're going to crack this nut. This, this one's well, been a tough one. I, but, I mean, what? Google was paying a million dollars per Linux port, right? 10 million uh, yeah. 10, 10, 10 million for linux port so it's it's a solved problem they've google has put all the money into it now linux gaming is fixed <laughs> now <laughs> nobody really wants these man they don't um this has just been watching multiple companies try we got like the pyra you know little like little boutique things that are wicked expensive this is kind of wicked expensive too but do you really want the like hey my gaming experience is everything's on low and uh, comes at a premium with the added benefit of limited battery life. That doesn't sound like a win. That doesn't sound like a win. I don't think the market segment for these devices has like, ever existed. The closest thing to that market segment, 
Nintendo owns. And it's a Switch. Yes. <laughs> yep. And and they have all they have all the first party titles to draw their 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 people with. Like, oh my God, have you seen that new Do Pokemon you know, game? You're competing against. Uh, that's it. It's just that little bit of mobility when you can get better specs, better across the board at a lower price than this little thing I like to call a laptop. I, and I mean, like, yeah. Uh, Honestly, like seven hundred dollars is what I would expect a laptop with one of those APUs in there to cost. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's not. But yeah, you you definitely get a lot more utility out of the laptop yeah. than one of these guys. Yeah, you have bigger screen, actual keyboard. Yeah, we wish them the best <laughs> luck. <line. LZ Garrison. laughs> so, <laughs> Doom Three. Yeah, baby. Doom. We got a new RC out, and you can go play around with it if you want. This is Doom 1.5.1, release candidate 3. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's fixing some of the HUD issues, a um, couple of the little things. I mean, nothing in here that is amazing, other than we're going to get the latest version, hopefully, if everything goes smooth with this. Pedro Mateus, what is Doom 3? I've never heard of it. Doom uh, 3 is uh, one of the many, many different. Uh, Doom 3 uh, engine re-implementations, which came out. And this is the best, as far as anyone's concerned. Uh, And as far as the modding community goes, this is the one you want to play around with. Uh, There was a mod last year that came out that uh, basically upscaled everything. And you'd have, like, brand new uh, global illumination and really high... um, texture resolution for each individual thing in the game it was a significant uh difference and yeah it still ran if you were uh at least on the uh, the 1080 it ran at like 200 fps mm. which was impressive <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, i'm just excited because this this new release 151 has better support for one of the more uh commonly used co-op mods for doom 3 mm-hmm I didn't even know that was a thing until Jordan put it in the notes. And I was talking earlier this week. I'm like, fuck among fucks. I don't want to buy Doom 3 again, again, again. But I mean, I fucking did. But (laughs) to my point, this does not support Doom 3 BFG edition, which I had. And again, uh, that's your box copy. Yeah. No, no, no. I got like the original. Because like mm. uh, it just had Linux support. You just bought it, mm. boom, installed it, and you're done. Way back in the day. But I, I had BFG on Steam because I bought that to test out one of these source ports that works with the, the BFG edition. This one does not. But this one, you know, you got all the stuff. You got OpenGL 1.4. You got the ARB shaders, SDL, OpenAL. Just works out of the box, man. You take the base file, you know, the base folder from your Steam directory, drop that in this with precompiled by an error, you're done. But Jordan's like, hey, yeah, multiplayer. I'm like, fuck. I guess we gotta <laughs> young, young and Blood Part Two uh, in space. Retro. <laughs> flashlight. But, yeah. <laughs> flashlight and gun. Yeah. One of the best things about this particular uh, re-implementation was this was the first one I tried. I think IO Doom 3 now supports the uh, arrow keys on the keyboard as well, because the original game, the arrow keys, fuck you. You couldn't use them. Uh, and then is, IO is, Doom is, is 3 actually the happened? exact same thing. Mm-hmm. If, if you press like the up button in the game, you like you just get fucked. Yeah, like right out of the gate, the yeah, demon you, comes you, over and you starts pumping your legs. <laughs> it's like the red scorpion. You just get an imp yeah, yeah, yeah. rolling yeah, around away. from the side yeah. of the screen, flipping you off. And then no, 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 no. They're, they're, they're just, yeah, just chasing you. It's like the scorpion, except there's a giant flopping dick just like... Right. <laughs> but yeah, oh, no, man. Doom 3 was uh, the first one that actually let me use the uh, cursor keys out of the box without having to say, recompile it with SDL2, IO Doom 3. You're supposed to play Doom 3 with the joystick, Pedro. <laughs> I, thought I played Doom to... 2 with the joystick. <laughs> what, 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 what. I thought you were supposed to play with the Sega Activator. You can't find one of those. No. I looked, like, recently, like, two weeks mm. ago. You're like, that'd mm. be a fun video. Nope, they don't exist. <laughs> you, know, you know, I bet you SDL2 <laughs> does have support for it because, you know, Flibbit is insane. This is what I was thinking. And I also found that <laughs> Nintendo Power Pads... Surprisingly, not very expensive at all. Mm-hmm, indeed. Make of that what you will. Party time. Party 
Yes, with cubes. Uh, this is a GitHub repository for part of cubes. And you might think, oh, it's GitHub. It's open source. You'd be wrong. Uh, this is uh, part of cubes. Uh, it's a it's, it's essentially Roblox. They're, they're doing their own little Roblox game uh, where you can, you know, build stuff with voxels and share it and hang around and blah, 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 blah. Um, it has a GitHub for the open source components. Um, at, like uh, some some of the engine stuff and some of the scripts, but the oh, actual look, engine it's itself filled with hipsters. No, I'm yeah. good. The yeah, <laughs> the, en- the engine itself is uh, entirely closed source, uh, and I mean, like the game itself can be okay because like Roblox appeals to children, I suppose. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like the very apt comic of Mom, can we get Roblox? <laughs> like, no, son, we have Roblox at home and. It's this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean think, you, Roblox is already free. So, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's it, it's free. It it doesn't actually run on Linux, and they do try to nickel and dime you. There's lots of lots of microtransactions. Yes. Lots. You can head over to uh, partycubes.com and you can get into the beta signup. You'll be one thousand. So yeah, there's plenty of room for growth here. And, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, it is, as they describe it, a vir- virtual space, not exactly a video game. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Cube and Second Life. And Second Life is massively popular, but I honestly don't see the appeal. Porn. <laughs> there are easier ways to get porn. <laughs> yeah, but people are dumb, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pe- people like to expend effort for things. Also, it's, it's not it's not just instant gratification on the internet. This, this is the thing, then you you might just be desensitized to the point where you need voxels to get off. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, there's I mean, Minecraft what, what, porn parodies. But so I, I don't many understand them. when the porn so is many. the mosaic. <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. Seriously, there's Minecraft porn on YouTube. Listen, listen, the moral of the story is mine the porn. Okay? Now. <laughs> Jack off January, baby. Transport Fever 2 has received a Mac and a Vulcan and a support. Very happy to talk about that. They got a bit out and, uh, you know, they've improved fallback to OpenGL for GPUs, which was like the update they made a nanosecond after this was released. It's like, all right, well, I kind of see the point there because, you know, people with 70-year-old GPUs are like, I can't support the Vulcan. So that's a thing. Um, just fun, I guess. Uh, cam- I mean, this is like a, just a spreadsheet of updates. And has anyone ever played Transport Fever 2? No, but it's 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 another I one of these. They like, have a game manual. They they do in fact have a game manual. If you printed it out, I'm pretty sure you could beat someone to death with it. But uh. it's 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 like one of, it's one of these management sims where you're you're handling transport. Uh the I mean I I wonder though like they, they say oh well yeah we we have, we have Vulcan support it's gonna be on Windows and Linux and oh all of a sudden we have Mac support I wonder if that just means they uh, compiled it with Molten VK <laughs> Molten VK oh. <laughs> also it feels pretty weird too it's like oh yeah it's a it's, it's the Mac version it's available now now of all times now <laughs> okay <laughs> oh finally I can go to the web zone here we go <laughs> I'm back where I started damn you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying welcome to find to, some video. Well, yeah. yeah, welcome back to Ben gets trapped in a website forever. <laughs> Pretty much, ben. Never to be heard from again. Oh, shit. That looks all right, doesn't it? Could it be yeah, that's just the uh, promotional material. That's how you actually Let play. Let me dream, yeah. you fucko. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, woo, woo. It's, it, it's for people who uh, who wanted to uh, play, who were playing Euro Truck Simulator and being like, I want to play more city skylines, but I also want Euro yeah, Truck. Yeah, I, I wish this was more rts and less actual driving around. Indeed. <laughs> that looks very, very pretty. Oh, yeah, it, lo- it looks quite good. Um, it's it's on sale, though. Uh, you can't, it's not like a free game or whatever. How, how much is it? Oh, it's on, it is on Steam and it's 51 bucks. Excellent. 51 bucks? Yep. Okay. 51 bucks. Uh, uh, neat. Now it's got Vulcan powers. Indeed. Um, The last last story we got this week is Redriver. Um, Driver 2. Redriver or Redriver? Red River. Oh. Red River. (laughs) That's what I was thinking. Red red Rum. (laughs) Yeah, so uh, Driver 2, you may have heard of it. I heard about this game when Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, and everyone was comparing uh, this to Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, I didn't have access to uh, PlayStation when the game was easily accessible, so I never ended up playing with it. 
But it was basically Jason Statham the game. Uh, someone is working on a open source reimplementation of it. Um, it's an alpha 6.0a. Um, they have uh, some localization options. Uh, they have some AI fixes. They got some. They, this was one of those games that uh, supported physics, so now you have that built in as well. Um, yeah, so there, there's just a lot of fixes if you've been following this project. I have. This is the first I've heard of it. Uh, so. It looks like there's been some development happening there. I don't know. Uh, it's I had to look it up. I had to playable ask. now. Yeah, I thought hey, yeah. this is completely reverse engineered too. And yep. this looks like some hipster pixel polygons. The patron like, oh yes, that'd be fun. But no, these don't. I uh, I look, tried look, to drive her game. So cute, bouncing around. This is from yes, <laughs> Lady Darkness. That, that's I'm the thing that was video. being compared to GTA Three. It's R yeah, getting out of the car and the running around. Talking about. Uh, and the uh, game after this, Driver 3, was basically the one that killed the former Atari, the former uh, owners of the Atari name. Oh. <laughs> that, that, and, that, that, and, that's and the game that killed that. they're making hotels. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, Driver 2, according to some people, was the last uh, playable one, good one, whatever you want to call it. But... What surprised me is how quickly they went from, oh, yeah, we just have the initial commit and now we have everything completely reverse engineered and rebuilt and it's playable. It, this is the last alpha release. Basically, it's feature complete. Now it goes. It is so feature complete that they added a CD changing sequence. Just as an yes. excellent. <laughs> that, that, because you need both CDs in order to play the um, the game. That, that, that's well what done. I like to see. M MGS4 had the things like, oh, you got to switch the disc. Oh wait, yeah, you installed this on a hard drive. Never mind. Oh, sweetheart, I laugh in um, what was it, Riven? Or um, it, pick it, pick an FMV <laughs> game from the '90s that comes on like eight CDs. <laughs> this was Riven, R baby. I mean, I do not have a complaint. <sighs> uh, Riven had so many CDs, I still have some. Ripper, I think the X Files like 10. six CDs. <laughs> yeah, they, they got up there because they were like literally just playing on full movies. They had actors and shit too, like Christopher Walken and whatnot. Oh no. Maybe, maybe that's what we got to do for like a when, like a Valentine's this Day. This was your year. father's CD. Play, play Phantasmagoria <laughs> on Linux. Um, All right. Only the first half. <laughs> Coming up next. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Are you going to pick it up? It's the Persephone. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chairquisition. I've got a question for you. What's the opposite of Persephreal? It's Persephone. Uh, Persephone. That's what we're taking... Persephone, uh, were developed by Momo Pi, developed on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about seven bucks US. What is it? What if death isn't the end, but the key to solve puzzles? Where, when, and how will you choose to die in order to, pro to progress? Transport yourself to this magical world, enriched with beautiful graphics and captivating music. Uh, we want to thank the devs of Momo Pi for sending us some keys uh, to take a look at this game. Uh, yeah, I guess we start off with Pedro, who likes it, I guess. I do. And uh, over here on the Ryzen 7 3700X with the GTX 1080, it worked out of the box. Uh, Ven did suggest that we try and get uh, Mango HUD working. I tried, but it didn't work. So instead, if you look, if you're looking at the video version, you can look on the bottom left corner and you'll see the 500 and whatnot FPS. It varied between 400 and 1200. Uh, if you don't know whether or not your GPU has coil wine, this game will tell you, assuming you have uh, VSync turned off in your uh, compositor, because <laughs> it has no VSync. In fact, it doesn't have any options. That I lie, it has two volume sliders, that's it. Uh, the uh, For controllers, the dual sense, it still needs Steam input for the buttons to be mapped properly. If not, they'll be like one rotated clockwise, so... You'll need to account for that. And the DualShock 4 and the FU Pro 1, those two worked out of the box. So, yeah, the X input and old D input still work just fine. As for the fun, I... I, admittedly, I love the contrast between the cutesy visuals and the absolutely grim gameplay. <laughs> There's been many games in the past that have used death as a mechanic rather than a failure state. You can make the argument that the failure state is a mechanic, but you know what I mean. It's actual make use of the death in the game itself rather than just giving you a game over. Dark Souls would be the obvious examples, but 
roguelikes and roguelites do this as well. And Persephone kicks that up a notch by forcing you to step on your dead body to get over spike pits, turn into a statue when you die to block lasers, or just push corpses around to <laughs> just keep pushing your corpses and dying and pushing your corpses and dying in order for them to stay in a button or on a button as the case may be uh the you almost got it mm. yeah almost <laughs> but yeah it what I like the most about this game is, you know, outside of the intro screen with like the developer name and the occasional button prompt or the achievements that you get every now and then, there's no text on screen ever. It, the game is well designed enough that you can figure out how to play, figure out how to make progress without ever giving you a single line of text. That is freaking amazing. It is. It's someone who actually gets game design and just figured it out. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, it's not as good as uh, in the mechanical sense of video game mechanicals, uh, video game mechanics, not mechanicals. Uh, mechanical. In- <laughs> it, it's not as good in that respect, like, say, Baba is you. That one is paramount as far as that particular um, metric is concerned, but it gets very close. And yeah, if Coil Wine is the only one big complaint I have about it, well, lip strangles a thing or you can enable VSync in your compositor and it, it'll get around that issue. So as far as I'm concerned, it gets four chairs. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what do I got to think about this? Uh, over here on this nice little box is Debian crunching AMD Threadripper 1920X for that little baby NVIDIA 2060, 32 gigajoules of RAM. It holds a solid 60 at 2160p. I'm down with that. Uh, picked up the Xbox One XSX uh, controller out of the box. No issues there. Now, without the controller, the option menu is unavailable. That was kind of fun. That was interesting. Um Yes, the world's mysteries. Now, speaking of options, you can uh, control volume levels. Hope you like doing that. That's all you can fuck with. Now, it does look pretty. Gotta say that, man. I like the art style, the background music. Gets job done. Nothing to write home about. But hey, I don't mind it whatsoever. I can talk about the fun, though. Because right out of the gate, I didn't want to like this. Uh, Pacero phone, because of what it is. Let's look, look at it. It's a lazy-ass mobile port. But hey. If you're going to use a ginger sporting a Fedorf t-shirt as your main character, I have to give it a try. And you know what? I'm glad I did. I really am. Um, I judge a puzzle game by how many times the game itself manages to make me say, you know, to sit back and go, oh, it's going to be like that, huh? All right. I got three out of this so far, which is good. It's good. That means my brain mates is doing something other than just like rotting away. Now, mechanics, dead simple. Move blocks, dodge balls, avoid death beams, and you fall in holes. Then it gets all Groundhog Day, you know, and it teaches you how to play it. And yes, I agree with you, Pedro. It's fucking adorable when you fall on the spike. I'm like, aw. <laughs> now you get to walk on your corpse. Right. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I've really enjoyed that. Now, I'm not going to say, you know, like the whole Groundhog Day thing. It's not inspired. It's been done before, but, you know. Uh, never to, for me, never to such like a mawkish extent. I mean, and look at the little Fedor t shirt. That's kind of brilliant. Jordan, did you not get those vibes when you saw that t shirt? And you're like, that's a Fedora logo. At first, I thought it was the number of people that you had killed. And then okay. I realized that was just infinity. Because I thought, like, oh, did I, I? It finally clicked, like, oh, did I just kill eight people? It's like, no, no. Yeah. That would, I think that would have been a fun <laughs> little mechanic if they added it. I, 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 I do like this thing where you have to, like, run into the spike ball to just fucking get pushed in the right <laughs> yeah, direction. Do. Yeah, do. Yeah, do it. Throws do. bullshit at, like that. No, <laughs> let's talk about what it is, man, because it is a lazy mobile port on Steam. But it's not a lazy mobile game. And thanks to Unity, you'll be able to play it full screen at max resolution with a controller. Period. You better like it or not. They even tacked on a backstory that involves Hades. But uh, it's we on the confusing side. I'll spare you that. Because for $7.99, you can do a lot worse than this. It's something you can pick up, put down, fuck around with. It, the way it's paced with your movement, one block at a time, one step at a time, with other things in the environment operating at the same speed. 
you're not going to get angry at it. You got to sit and puzzle it out, which is strange because it's a puzzle game. I'm just kidding. Go check it out. You can run it on anything considering it was made for mobile. So yeah, I, I beat it. Check it out. The definition of insanity is repeating the same action over and over again, expecting a different result. I eventually get it. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just captivated. I'm captivated by this. Captivated. Um, captivated. I'm cackling and captivated. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 33, 64-bit with the i7-6700K and the AMD RX 5700 XT. It runs out of the box. Same with the R9 uh, 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti on Fedora 32. Uh, yeah, no, no issues. I tested it with both the... Uh, DualShock and the Steam, or the, not Steam, the Switch Pro controller, and yeah, it works fine. Um, it's definitely got that, uh, they, they describe it as an academical classic composer that they're talking about in the advertising copy. There, there's definitely some, some there's sounds about that. There's a perfect example right there of like, oh, it's going to be like that. Yeah, yeah. It's yep. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there, there, the, these ones, there's a couple of complex sequences you need. This, this one has a pretty complex, sequ- or no, it's the one after that with the stone. Anyways, um, yeah. It, it runs out of the box. They have this commitment to like not using any language. I really wish that they would maybe walk that back for the options menu, at least providing some options. You cannot put this thing in windowed mode. If you try it, it's a unity game. So you figure, Hey, I'm going to look at this prefs file and set some zeros to ones or ones to zeros. Uh, that it does not respect that prefs file. So, uh, get fucked and go fuck yourself. Um, so, uh, fun wise. Yeah, it's, Forced, you forced me to use my own discarded corpse to solve problems. I'm I'm on board, man. I mean, it's it's a Sokoban game, right? You slide blocks, you solve puzzles. That that's kind of it. The corpse mechanic is fun. I really like it. Um, they do give you a limit of three bodies to limit your corpse piling shenanigans. And sometimes it's actually part of the puzzle where you need to like kill your dudes in specific orders so that you can get the thing that you need. Uh, th- this, le- uh, not this level, but yeah, th- actually this level is one of those, uh, that you're watching right now. If you're watching the video version, um, and yeah, the, the turn-based nature, I really like because it really forces you to, you're, you're on a clock, not like on a timer, but the world is moving at a perceivable rate and you have to like use that information to actually solve the puzzles. And I thought that was very, very cool. Like, uh, with the, with the w- river flowing thing. One gripe I really do have, I would like an undo button. There's a reset level button that just clears everything, but some of the more complex stuff, like I don't want to have to repeat it multiple times. Uh, and it, it's, it's a bit of a nuisance just to have to like reverse engineer what you've done. Um, there beyond, beyond the puzzles is not really much to the game other than that. Uh, the ice sliding puzzles remind me of Pokemon soul silver because there's an entire dungeon based on that. Uh, so I had a little PTSD from, uh, that part, <laughs> but I mean, other than that, it's like a perfectly fun puzzle game. I, I quite enjoyed it. It's pick up and play. The puzzles themselves don't take too long or else if, if they do take long, it's because you're racking your brain trying to figure out what the fuck you're actually doing. But the the actual length of them are pretty short, so you can get through them in like a like a coffee break or something. I like it. Uh, I highly suggest you check it out. It's seven bucks. So I'll give it three cheers. Uh, so, yeah. Do we got any final thoughts for this? For uh, Persephone? I always get to say pleasantly surprised is best surprised, uh, despite it being, yeah. you know, just a click export unity shove it up on steam despite that and the limited options and play but i mean it works and it's a fun game yes yeah i i mean nothing like a little cutesy death machine absolutely it it is surprising how it's always the puzzles game the puzzle games that get this right (laughs) it's you have a video game it's not just about you know the story it's not just about getting actors to play specific characters no it's about the interactivity <laughs> how you play with the game no no there, quick time events they Pedro. <laughs> you, you 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 climbed up this monster and cut its head off by pressing y you did that <laughs> yes <laughs> you done goofed now live with it <laughs> uh, all right coming up next we got one little bit of hate mail and then we're getting the hell out of here Lava. that's quite enough talk of sshfs out of you uh we say a lot of shit during the show like a lot of shit and chances Look how are long his hair is getting it's it's uh, almost down to my ass. 
Does, does it start to smell? <laughs> does, 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 is, is it starting to really, crawl up your no. butt? <laughs> I uh, wash it often enough that it does not smell. Otherwise, your, Nori your would butt? probably um, <laughs> do something about it. But yeah. Chances are we said something that uh, probably you didn't agree with or maybe you agreed with, but we didn't cover the whole thing and you feel like you need to add a finer point to it. By all means, go fuck yourself. I mean, go to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, and there's a little choosy box that you select <laughs> LGC box, Weekly. Yes. yes. <laughs> you select LGC Weekly and you fill out the rest of the form and let us know exactly what it was that uh, got your uh, pennies in a twist. If you're a game developer, make sure you include... Um, we do a panel show. Count, motherfuckers. Three keys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> listen, listen, there are three types of people in this world. Those who can count and those who can't. Purple. I thought it was blue, but nope. okay. It's always purple. <laughs> when in doubt, purple. So something we were in doubt about last week, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is what exactly happens uh, with Steam keys once they've been generated and they float off into the ether that is the internet. Well, JP writes in, he's like, I got some experience. Let me tell you this. Um, while it is possible to redeem keys for products that have been pulled from the Steam store, it's also possible for a publisher to revoke keys that haven't been redeemed. Fair. I've gotten Steam keys from Humble Store that had an expiration date as well. Now, I think that's roughly what our assumptions were, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I, guess, I guess it depends. That like, specific one we didn't mention on the last episode, but yes, that is a possibility, and they can just select all, and it's like, oh, unredeemed? Gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess like the, the the entitlement or whatever was paid for. So like, I guess St if, as long as Steam has the rights to like distribute the files of the game, it should be fine. What do we uh, think about the humble thing? Because the humble thing is very fucking real and it is mm -hmm. semi recent. Because you know, I think up until last year, when you're just going through like your 17 pages of unredeemed keys on humble. And there was one game that I think there was an open source re-implementation engine reverse engine. I needed the data files and always search your humble before you could buy it again on Steam. And uh, I found it and I clicked and I was like, no, this is expired. I, w I wonder how much of that is like just fighting gray market stuff. Cause like there's probably tons of like old ass keys that are just unredeemed. Someone gets access yes. to like a humble account or something. They could just sell them all theoretically. Well, okay. It doesn't show the key that has been expired the key has not expired humble has said it has expired they still have the key mm -hmm. yeah so I, I, I i'm not a big fan of that to be honest with you like i paid yeah. for that and or at least i would like to see a system and now i understand what humble's thinking they're like hey you know you bought it mm -hmm. so you're just going to redeem it big deal you know you got everything for if I already have like 11 copies of the game and I know they're about to expire, I'm going to give them to people as opposed to you. Yeah. Send people an email and say, yeah. okay, no, these no. games of yours are about to expire. Either redeem it or give it to someone. It's like, yeah, okay. Thanks. No, no, you, no you're a bunch <laughs> of chumps. You got to sell it to G2A. Green man. Don't. Gaming. Don't. <laughs> make, make that green, man. I'll be honest with you. I went to this couple of years back uh platinum did that transformers game the rights issue that just disappeared mm. from the internet i went to g2 it because i knew it wasn't available they also know there were steam keys floating around it's like 80 bucks for a steam key for that game sorry platinum mm. i don't love you that much yeah that that's like weird that's like a weird <laughs> sort of black gray market thing too like what happens when the games disappear and like entitlements still exist mm -hmm. I, this is a weird this is the real <laughs> weird world we live in when it comes to like software licensing it makes no fucking sense at did, all did they ever resolve the issue i know in our most recent humble bundle um pedro you mentioned it i think last week that oh uh, chroma squad yeah the chroma they, squad i if they have solved it i did not get an email about it so i haven't been back to check <laughs> now in all fairness not to poo poo on humble they do a decent job for things they don't know how to roar things correctly um, genesis <laughs> Listen, they're not in the business of doing Linux ports anymore or, you know, like having Linux games in their bundle. At the time, they were supposed to be. Not, the, yeah, that, the that, that's in the past. Bundle. Bro. <laughs> it's the future now. Okay, real quick before we get out of here. Has Proton changed the landscape 
to the point of, because, you know, the Humble Indie Bundle official has to be cross-platform, all three platforms. Mm. Is uh, is Proton going to change that? I'm like, ah, well, it's got a good enough rating on Proton, so here's it, it, it counts I, on a technicality. I, I, I think it's too soon to say, but given how Valve is kind of positioning Proton as it's just our version of Windows that you can target, mm-hmm. I think it may just become like, hey, as long as like as long as it runs on Proton, it's a quote unquote Linux game. So mm. yeah, but I still I still think that's a couple years away. Uh, but still, I think that's the, that's the, that's yeah, the general it motion. It wasn't all that long ago that they were still, uh, removing the little Steam OS icon from games that at one point supported Linux, but then they kind of stopped updating the Linux version. So Valve just removed the Linux from their Steam store. But and it, 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 it's, it's weird though, because like those games get unmaintained like the old ass versions of unity they use just don't perform well you're better off running the windows version in proton half the time yep yeah uh, <laughs> one of the weird side benefits of proton is going to be maintaining compatibility for games down the road because mm-hmm. we've seen that time and time again even with windows games man like developers are just went fucked off mm-hmm so, and the fact that DXVK is used by Windows people to play those older games that were massively single threaded. Yeah. yeah. It's all of a sudden DXVK is very important, not just for Linux, very important for Linux. Don't get me wrong, but uh, also for Windows. How many next at, buttons did they have to put on it for the Windows? Uh, <laughs> That's at, the at, at least there six. isn't there isn't a, a full on GUI installer. Yeah, but people have figured out how to build it. But like three people are doing it, or one. I, 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 there's that. There's, there's that old saying. To get. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's, there's that old saying though. A rising tide lifts all ships. As it turns out, investing in open source that can be ported to other platform has benefits to other platforms. Yes. Who, who would have that thought? Time and time again. <laughs> who would have thought? Not me. No. 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 Closed source, proprietary. That's the way to do things. On that beautiful bombshell, let's cue the music. You can always find our nonsense kicking off at 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. It is kind of brilliant. If you're one of the people making our shit possible, hop into Discord an hour before then for our pre-pre-super shows. And if you're like ultra mega patron, you get a live video feed too. It's kind of brilliant. But if you want to get a hold of me, I'm just at Vin, at Vin Stone on Twitter. That's a place. That's the thing. We got one of those uh, library things for videos. If YouTube's not your jam, baby. At Odyssey and uh, just at Vin on our Mastodon instance, which is mast.linuxgamecast.com. I am the deep fake of Jordan Spung. I run on a proprietary artificial intelligence. You can follow me at the Burning Fool on Twitter. Commodore 64. Yeah, not even. It's like an old Atari 2600 running like (laughs) Pong or some (laughs) shit. You can you can watch me streaming shit on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. Yeah. And I am Pedro Mateos, and I've just discovered that we could probably kill that deep fake by finding a copy of E.T. So. I look forward to that, uh, and it'll be at and accounted for on Twitter, oh. where you can catch all the latest on how the deepfake killing is going. I just like the idea of <laughs> you look at somebody like, so what's it written in? And looks you like, Pong. You gotta, you, there's a, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's just the Flapotron playing What is Love. <laughs> Yeah, ex- exactly. An, an unholy electronic misfit. <laughs> Written in Pong, baby. <laughs> Written in Pong. Pop, pop, VB Pong. Mm-hmm. Microsoft Visual Pong. Visual Coming pong. soon. Dennis. We gotta thank our lovely, lovely Patreons, the people making this possible, giving us money. Aldius, Barb Ripe, Scott Michaud, Mr. Fox Dog, Arthur and the Atomic Ass, Mike GMT, and Drummer, our lone little Nikki Pan, Darkwing, and our Sea Monsters, Jack B, Renault LePage, Ryder X Machina, Paul Veritanuda, Justin, and Frosty the Clawman. Then we got them Death Notes kicking here with Nova K, Leonardo, Doc, Kim, Smashley G, Chris, Steven, Jill, Benjamin, Chad, Romero, Markson, System T. I think I got you all. Smashley G. 
<laughs> Chris, Stephen, Jill, and Benjamin. Uh, yeah, then also all the chairlings, uh, which there are many, many of you to fully read, but I can give you some teeny tiny little tastes like Kyolytics just released a new video. Go check out his uh, YouTube channel. Uh B. Vasca. Steve E. I'm glad you find this humorous, and Jordan, Mag. but we're trying to be serious. <laughs> Sim cough. cough drops. <laughs> cough drops. You need more cough. <laughs> Sim ha. <laughs> Mazel tov. And of course, library.tv at Nixon Spearman. Doesn't exist. Never did. <laughs> you need more half in your cough. Five dudes. <laughs>